Hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl Lolo and thanks for tuning in here today. Look at all these amazing ingredients that we got going on here. You know what? Chicken is beautiful. You can do so many things with chicken. And I'm here today to show you one of those amazing dishes that you can put together. Chicken is a no fail. When you don't know what to cook, turn to chicken. Today we're doing chicken cacciatore. Easy, simple, and I'm going to show you how it's done today. Stay tuned. So let's start off by seasoning our chicken for this chicken cacciatore. The seasoning we're using today is not my house seasoning, but it is ingredients from. So we have five tablespoons of garlic powder, a tablespoon each of oregano, adobo, and onion powder, a half of a tablespoon of pepper, and of course a half of a tablespoon of sazon. Okay, so you know me generously with the seasoning make sure that the chicken is well coated now we're just going to flip the chicken over and then I'm going to actually massage the seasoning on the chicken before we put it into the hot pan to sear up. Now I have a combination of chicken legs and chicken thighs here that we're gonna do up. Oh, forgot one, hold on. I'm trying to hide over there in the corner. And I just took a pan to season my chicken in and put down some uh, wax paper under it easy cleanup like I said don't be afraid to take help where you can right especially when you coming home after a hard day's work to have to cook so I make sure that every piece is coated with some seasoning now I am going to put on my gloves and massage the chicken just feel like putting on the gloves so that you don't have to you can go right in if you like but today I just feel like putting gloves on now you can remove the skin if you like, I kind of like the skin on, but you can take it off. Your chicken, you can do, do it how you like to, and you can do your seasonings the way you like to as well. Now I pull back that skin and put some up underneath. I don't want to leave no portion of this unseasoned. Believe me, it's going to taste great. Just make sure you just season it well. And it may look like a lot of seasoning, but I have a lot of chicken here. So if you don't have this many many pieces of chicken, you only have like four or five, just, you know, sprinkle it on as much or as little as you like. Instead of just pouring it in the bowl like I do. I don't want to grab the uh, seasonings because I got my hands all over chicken you know so I always put mine into a bowl first and measure it out that way so therefore I can just grab it and use it because I'm gonna throw that in the sink to be washed anyway so all right chicken is seasoned now let's get this in seared in the pan but first we're gonna sear our vegetables and then we come back to searing the chicken so our pan is hot preheated so you know we're gonna give a couple of dribbles or swishes around the pan with some olive oil because we're about to put this chicken in here to sear it before we start putting our chicken cacciatore together so 
That's what we want to hear. The pan should be hot. It should be waiting for you, not the other way around. So, I have kind of a big pan here. But again, you don't want to overcrowd your pan. Because again, we just want it to seal. We don't want it to start, the chicken to start. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? You know. Simmering. So we're just going to leave those there for a couple of minutes to sear. I do have my flame on um, high because um, I want that heat. So we're just going to sear these for a couple of minutes and we'll be back. Time to turn our chicken. Now we are just giving it a light sear. I'm not looking to give it a, you know, a hard sear. Just a light sear. Just to brown it. And again, the chicken skin is optional. You can take it off. Before you start this process, I chose to leave it on. So we flip this and we're going to wait another two, three minutes and then we're going to proceed on to sauteing our vegetables next. Then three minutes, time to take the chicken out and begin searing our vegetables. Now take your chicken out, put it into a plate, pan, whatever you want to put it into. Set it aside to put in the vegetables. A little bit of a wipe. I'm not going to use all the seasoning that was on the bottom, so I'm going to put some more olive oil in here. Now we're going to saute our vegetables. I have a green pepper and a red pepper that I cut up into strips. Gonna put that down in the pan. That's what we want to hear. Gonna start sauteing those around. Now, I have my onions here. And that was one onion cut up. Gonna put that in as well. Now we're going to saute these. And we're going to let these go for a couple of minutes. And then we're going to add our chicken back in. been about three minutes now I'm going to add in our six chopped baby bella mushrooms and our 15 cloves of garlic garlic I love if you notice we eat fresh garlic here so much we love it I love the way it tastes love the way it smells when it's cooking and it's healthy for you so why not? So we're going to saute these around again for about another two or three minutes. Three minutes is up. Now I'm going to add in that 14.5 ounce can of carrots. Give that a good whirl. And you're like, well, why use all those fresh vegetables? Why didn't you just use fresh carrots? Because I didn't have any. And a can of carrots is what I had. So that's what we're using in here today. <laughs> all right. The chicken goes back into our pan now with those vegetables now I made a little well to put the chicken 
in the middle. And I'll take the vegetables, pull them from this, um, the sides, put them on top of the chicken, move the chicken over because I got more chicken to put in here. And the mushrooms are optional. The garlic is optional. You can use whatever peppers you like. Red, yellow. I've used red and green here. But you can use yellow and orange. You know, possibilities is endless. Any way you want it to taste, that's fine. You don't have to follow the traditional, um, you know, recipe. Make it your own, like I'm pretty much doing. All right, let's add the rest of our chicken. Like I said, I do have a pretty big pan here. So, that seems about right. So, now I am going to add in this uh, can of crushed tomatoes. It's uh, 28 ounces, which is about a pound and 12 ounces. I'm going to add that in, all on top of the vegetables and on top of the chicken. Now, I'm going to take this can and I'm going to actually put some chicken broth in it. Mix it around and pour it on top of that. And into this can I'm pouring about a cup of chicken broth. Pour it right on top. Let's give this a little twirl here. Be careful that this doesn't pop all over you. If you're not careful, it will. Once it starts cooking down some, I'll be able to come back in and mix it up some more. But right now, I'm just trying to get the chicken and vegetables coated. And at any point, you can add more chicken broth if it still seems a little thick to you. Don't want it too soupy but you want enough you know um sauce in here to pour over your noodles and your chicken that's the way you know we like it here so i'm gonna let this cook until the chicken is done about an hour to an hour and a half more than likely an hour and a half i'm gonna place a top on it and we'll meet you back in about an hour to check on it because we're going to add in some basil and some thyme. All right, so this is what our baby looks like after cooking for about an hour and 10 minutes now. So remember I said that we're going to come back to season up our sauce. Um, the chicken was already seasoned, but we got to season up this sauce now. Um, these crushed tomatoes and chicken broth that we put in here. All right, so... Of course, you know, we threw something together here. We have um, a half a tablespoon of basil as well as a half a tablespoon of oregano. I did put a little bit of crushed uh, red pepper flakes in there. I also put a half a tablespoon of adobo um, and a half a tablespoon of pepper. All right, so we're going to put this in. All right, and it, it loosened up a lot compared to what it was. I always like to cook it down. I'm just going to put a little bit in there for right now, and let's see where we're at. Um, it was just so thick that, you know, I like for it to cook down a little before we start to season. And then been, be able to move the seasoning around now a little bit better. Let me flip that over so the seasoning can go right into the sauce and I can just stir it up a little bit better now yeah, it's better stirring it up once it starts to cook so you know the sauce is now loosened the chicken is cooked you know majority of the way through you know give it a good stir as much as you can without popping yourself with this hot tomato sauce here because this sucker is hot and it smells divine. Let's give it a little taste. 
Mm. Perfect. But you know me, I got to go that extra. So, of course, I'm going to add in the rest of that little bit of seasoning right there. Oh, and I also put in here, um, because of the tang of the tomato, I also put in here a uh, half of a tablespoon of uh, white sugar. Yes, I did. And believe me, you will not be disappointed. So make sure you get that seasoning well mixed in this sauce. And you're going to let it cook for the next half an hour. Um, it does taste great just with that so now i'm going to put the top back on this and let it continue to cook for the next half an hour see you back so there we have it guys lolo's chicken cacciatore looks delicious smells delicious can't wait to dig in thanks for tuning in and watching thanks for the support Hope you're willing to try this. And don't forget, subscribe, thumbs up, comment. Until next time, thanks for watching. Enjoy.